it's so surreal to have been a fan of this franchise and a fan of Chris McQuarrie's work and Tom Cruise's work. And then to be sat in a car on a set, handcuffed to Tom Cruise. And at one point I went, I looked at him and I went, I, I'm in a Tom Cruise movie. And he, without, without pausing, went, no, 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 no. I'm in a Hayley Atwell movie. And it was, he's so generous that way. He really bolsters people and, and he really wants to see them do well. And so with every kind of expression of excitement um, of being in this surreal world from being behind the camera watching a mission film to being within the kind of mechanics of a Mission Impossible film, there were lots of pinch me moments and he had them with me along the way. I had five months of training. Um, it was an amazing, very rare and unusual opportunity to be working with the kind of stunt team and prop masters and um, choreographers that that Tom, you know, finds and discovers. They're really the best in the world at what they do. And so I was introduced to all these different disciplines, from mixed martial arts to working with. Uh, working on a gun range with various different kinds of guns, um, various different props, and also doing unarmed combat. And what I discovered is that I had a natural ability and an enjoyment of doing fight sequences with props. That if you gave me two knives, I could actually speed up the choreography of the fight because I was using these props as an extension of Grace's mood. They gave me kind of anchor points and something to something more physically to do than just using my fist. Joining the gang as Haley is a lot more fun than Grace joining the gang the first time because she doesn't know what she's getting herself into and she is not convinced that they've got her back. So she's hyper vigilant and on guard. But for Haley coming into an already very established friendship group that Tom and, and Simon and Ving have had and enjoyed for many, many years. It's like, it, it's so, um, it's, it's incredibly welcoming and it's also upbeat and it's fun. And they have lots of in jokes based on all the experiences that they've had around the world for the many years that they've been working on these together. The thing I love most about working with Simon Pegg is there is this sweet spot where we can really make each other laugh. And that becomes quite dangerous when you're in the middle of a very important scene where the stakes are very high. Um, but because he is so much of the comic relief as Benji, and because I've enjoyed watching him play Benji for so long now, being on the receiving end of that in a scene is, is it's hard sometimes because it's just so funny. And um, he's great at sort of, he's great at teasing, you know, a playful teasing of, of me and making sure that you know, there's a levity and approach to it. So it can be very focused and very intense and very sincere set, but he's always there to, um, you know, pull the rug from under my feet and make sure that I'm also having fun while I'm doing it. Ving has um, such gravitas. His presence is so, um, I find it very calming to be around him because he has so much wisdom and so much experience in this industry and such a force for good and all the work that he does outside of being an actor and supporting the communities that he grew up in um, to be this you know, extraordinary person and um, a devoting a life of service to other people. The thing that you know the world knows about Mission Impossible is it's all about the locations. That sets the visual language of the film. And every single film tries to top itself with and outdo itself with where it can go next. Where are the locations that have not been seen on film or been able to be depicted in a particular way? And I would say that the locations and then the stunts become the sort of in the foreground of what the film will be. They become the ultimate backdrop that then dictate what the action is gonna be and also indeed what the story is. Um, Tom loves to travel the world and to discover new, um, you know, new cultures and, and communities of people and find out what is unique about that particular location. And then, then sort of as a love letter to the location creates Mission Impossible. <laughs> Mission Impossible is a love letter to the incredible diversity of this planet. I knew when I, when I got 
the the job that there would be about a five month training period where it would be not that we were chasing a particular style or a particular aesthetic, but we were seeing where my natural abilities, strengths and interests lie and therefore creating a bespoke training program so that I could competently uh, and safely do these stunts. And so the motto that I, I ran with, literally, uh, <laughs> was to be fit for purpose. So my, uh, we tried lots of different disciplines and what I felt most um, connected to was uh, y working with knives and working with more um, styles of mixed martial arts that were lower center of gravity. You know, Pom is incredible at these high kicks. And I found that I was much more of um, a wrestly kind of fighter and a scrappy one and very fast with, um, with knives and with props. And so we use that as the character and we use that as part of um, the training process so that I was able to get to a level of competence where I knew that I was able to do certain stunts over and over again from different angles with, with you know, dynamic movement. And um, I found that, you know, that whole, that whole experience changed my life because it meant that my, I was able to start to put myself in, out of my comfort zone, but also be able to control my nervous system so that I was able to push myself further physically. What became very apparent early on in my preparation and my research and my training for mission, without a script necessarily, or particular anchor points of who my character was gonna be, is Chris McQuarrie and Tom Cruise's uh, drive, passion, commitment for the actresses that they employ coming in or the actors that they employ coming in to uh, really play and to collaborate and to offer lots of different ideas and to be fully seen and heard in them and having great, honest, direct communication about things that we wanted to try or that I was confused about and needed clearing up on. They're so transparent in their process and very inclusive in that. And I felt incredibly safe. And I also thought I want to come in and offer something new. You know, I want to be offering something that hasn't been seen before in a mission film because it's already such a, be a beloved and established franchise that I would have to offer something new. Otherwise I'm either going over old ground or it's already been done before or the audience don't have a new emotional attachment to my character because it's the same It's always that it's always been. And I knew that I wanted to try and elevate Grace out of just being one thing or the representation of the new woman coming in um, so that it felt much more expansive than that. Chris McQuarrie, he is a visionary. He is innovative. He's an amazing actor. He can perform and in the entire story for you in front of you over dinner and he knows the points to make you cry to make you laugh to make you sit on the edge of your seat he it's like he's kind of understands the musicality of storytelling and how to hit all these beats um and then the next day he can come up with a completely different version of what he wants the plot to be and it can be just as good and detailed and captivating Tom and McHugh's working relationship is forged over, I think, 16 years of friendship and a deep appreciation and understanding of film, uh, the technical sides of it, but also about storytelling. And so I've come into their orbit at a time where it's so sort of finessed in terms of their language of how they communicate on a set that they're finishing each other's sentences and they're sort of mind reading. Tom can go, hey, McHugh, and Tom and McHugh will be like, yeah, I agree. And you're like, what, <laughs> what was that exchange, you know? Um, and there is a, they both challenge each other and they both, they're both very strong, strong-willed, independent leaders. And yet they complement each other because it's a foundation of utter respect about what the other can do. And they are they they it's a symbiotic relationship that they they kind of they come hand in hand mission impossible dead reckoning part one this blows everything out of the water from what tom has done before his scale of ambition 
for this to be the most mind-blowing, gut-wrenching, physical, visceral experience of an adventure movie that gets to the heart of friendship and uh, the good fight of uh, triumph over adversity and the power of the human spirit. This is unlike anything that audiences will have ever seen before because the technologies used to create it weren't invented until it, this was shot, even on a technical level. Audiences are going to have the ride of their lives. They'll want to see it in the cinema over and over again.